The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Hi everyone. Uh, hi everyone, Basil Chapman. This is the Tiger Technicians Hour. Well, uh, this is the uh, 28th of January, Friday, last day of the of the uh, oh uh, last day of the week, and we're looking at the E Mini uh, down 27 at 42.8890. We're looking at the sideways action. What happens when it ha at the top? You'll sometimes get a break to the upside, then it goes back into the rectangle, and then it pulls back. In this case, we're going to be watching carefully because it's getting close to the to the base of 4281. It needs very quickly to get to 4303 and then 4310. Once it does that, it says, phew, at least for now, the bulk of the selling has taken place, and now we can start to move a little higher. That's really important, and you can see how important the 200-period moving average is. How many times has it been here in the E-mini in the 10-minute chart? So many times, and then it dropped all the way to the 4260s, and then ran all the way to the 4336 area, and now it's down at the 4293. So um, we'll be going through all these different things. I needed to do this. I did uh, Tommy Jr.'s show a moment ago. This is market kickoff. Uh, that's 9 o'clock till 10. And, uh, of course, that's the hour, but that's not his show. I just took that time. Um, so we're looking at the Dow down 264. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Let me just go right here. There we go. So there we go. I, let's run these numbers. I don't want to run out of time, so I want to do all the numbers. I want to do this very as thoroughly as I can. The fourth day after a low that could be with the VIX index making a high and the market very oversold trying to make a low that is a a tradable low. That is not just a low that's just a bounce for a couple of days and then it fails. This is a tradable low. I wanted to see this fourth session, we are down 241. Even if we were up 241, I wanted to see us sharply above even yesterday's candle, the high. I wanted to see us at least moving towards Monday in the 34,000, 1,000 points from here, 34,800s. Because what would that say? That, say, that would say, phew, oversold uh, in, in any way you look at it, there needs to be a bounce. And, but the market hasn't seen the notice right now. It's just ignoring it. And that's really important because what it's saying is that the drag, I'll do this um, in sequence. The S&P, so the Dow's down 270 at 33.890. The S&P, so that's down 0.78%. The Dow, the S&P is down 0.53%, half a percent at minus 21 at uh, 4304. Same thing here, look. This can't be the fourth rate candle after what could be a, a very important low at 4222.62 on Monday, uh, the 24th. It's really important. I, it could mean, you know, I've got the selling going all the way through to January. Today, you sh should start seeing, and right now, as we're speaking, you should start to see end of the month buying going to the last two sessions of the month. So this is really important. You want to see some kind of buying, and it can't just be end of the month buying. I want to see fresh buying. I don't want to see short covering buying. I want to see stocks that have really been decimated start to move very nicely. That'll be very important. We haven't got that yet. So the S&P is down 0.43%. But look at the QQQ. Uh, down also 0.43%. At 339.0, uh, let's call it 340. What's very important about this particular candle right now is that there was only one move above the, the high that was made on the 24th, which was 353.98. The, uh, the, the next day was an inside bar to the doji candle. The following session was a really nice move to the upside at 356.88. And then we got that hot, and then the Fed came in and smashed the market. And then yesterday was really ugly. And today, starting off ugly, but the day's young. Anything can happen because I, there must be so many people saying, I want to start positions. This is ridiculous. I want to start 
getting something in so that if there is a nice takeoff sometime in the first week of February, I want to be there. I don't want to be completely out. That's just maybe the thinking of some people right now. I'm just anticipating. But you've got in the queues a sell mode in the daily, a sell mode in the weekly. And I'm watching that candle for February in the monthly chart because that could be significant. If there is a move any time in February that even touches 361, that'll be a savior. That'll be a great, phew, sideways consolidation. Uh, very important after the huge move that the index has had from the, the 164.93 low of March of 2020, going all the way to the most recent high of 408.71. That's a massive move. So now, oh, here we go. So let me just see. I want to go to my uh, one-minute chart, E-mini. Yes, the, uh, that's the Dow. I don't want that. I want the ESH22. There we go. Oh, finally broke that rectangle formation. That's why I was... I don't know when I was talking about it, if it was during the update or before. I said this kind of rectangle at the bottom of uh, a move to the downside should see some kind of test of the uh, base and then should try for a move to the break to the upside. We've done that. Now we're only down six. This is nice action. I like that. And uh, we've got the 200 period moving average way up at 43.30. Can it get there? We're at 43.12. Well, we'll see. So uh, we just have to let it play out the way it plays out. So now we're looking at the IWM, the Russell, not the IW, the IWM, the Russell 2000. And what do we see? We see it coming back a little bit. It's only down a dollar oh eight at 190.43. Made a lower low today. It made a low of 188.67. To, to my eye, these are all so oversold. They are really for look, even a bounce that you saw back on the 20th of December came from like 211 oh, two, ish up to the 220s, 226. Even that was a nice percentage bounce. I want to see that. I want to see that today. I don't want us to close horrible because that'll be oh, over the weekend. We'll come in Monday. That'll be very ugly. So it's really important not just to have a bounce, but to have a sustained move. Dow's down now 198. I want to see it maybe get to a minus 35 at about between 2 and 3 o'clock. And I'll say, whoo, maybe we can close nicely. <laughs> that's going to be very important. All right, that's the IWM. Now, I need to do this. I'm going to just run these quickly. Gold is down uh, 5. It's uh, improving a little bit from the low today at 1780. I had said earlier on that I think that the 18... The 1822-ish area to the 1780s is kind of the, you can even go 1835. Could be the rectangle formation that gold holds for a little while, but it mustn't go under 1760. Under 1760 says, eh, eh, not good at all. Sideways action, basically, uh, just think of gold as, at this particular point, being kind of intraday trading. It's not, not the big thing that's moving just yet. Uh, silver, SI. So gold is down five and, uh, and silver is down 15 cents at 22.15. looks the same way. I uh, just stuck in a sideways move. The dollar has been the big winner. I don't know if it's still holding gains. It's got a doji candle at 97.19. This is kind of important because it says to me that there should be a leg D and then we should start to see some kind of a digester phase. And the weekly chart has got this huge base of, of, of a, like a bowl formation that usually can have a very powerful move to the outside. Watching the dollar closely, and I just want to do this hydrate copper, sharply down, and BTC, Bitcoin, uh, up 1555 at 3711, just stuck it. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi folks, so what I was saying is that Bitcoin is stuck in this low range. It too is, is kind of oversold, even the weekly chart says, yeah, next week could be a fascinating week. We could, uh, we could get some kind of a bounce uh, and that's going to be important. How it's sustained is really the, the issue right now. Um, so let me go on to the TLT. And this is really important. The TLT is stuck in the lower range, meaning yields are stuck in the higher range. And what I'd say is the normal thing, my normal, might not be other people's normal, but my normal says that when uh, the key equities, stocks, start to come down sharply, very often, throughout decades, I've watched as money flows from out of the equities, they migrate into the uh, bonds. The so-called, say, I say so-called safety of bonds because if you look at a, a, a chart, the bonds, um, <laughs> there's nothing really safe or any, it doesn't, if they look like charts, even if you look at the chart of the TLT, look at this, huge move up into the 179.70 March 2020 high. <clears throat> Excuse me, from 111 low back in 2019, 18-19, and then pulls back very sharply uh, towards the one, uh, what was that, 135-ish area. Has a good bounce, but it also has a, cha a chart that says, if this is going to be a dreaded H pattern, you could see the yields start to rally as bonds come back. And that's really important. If, they, if the TLT trades at any point below 138, Oh, those yields will start to break out, and you'll see that here, uh, TNX.X. You'll see that in the 10-year. Look at this. Made a peak ease. You got this almost like a, um, let me just do this, almost like an oval pattern. Probably I should make this like a, there you know, like a diamond. But anyway, if it starts to break out, look, that monthly chart in the 10-year yield looks like a leg C wants to go. This almost looks like, what was that one I was saying? Oh, the, it looks like the dollar pattern where it went to the left side resistance area in the monthly chart, and then it broke above it. So all I can say is that if the TNX starts to trade above 1971, let's call it 1980, 1.98, that's a big breakout. So we've got to watch this closely. Um, and the other thing is that on a very short-term basis, I, I, I don't want this to close ugly today. 
because that'll set up a really lousy Monday. I want to see us come back very nicely in the market itself. So here we go. So I've done that, done that, done that. I did crude oil. I'm saying crude oil is, you know, I say it's getting toppy only in the sense that in the chat wave notation, we're getting to a level where this is where you should start. You see some kind of resistance, but it's above the 8565 continuous contract all-time high uh, so the high that was made in october of 2018 sums to 7.61 and we don't have to go into the april the fiasco back in 2020 and then now it's ranging in leg e in the weekly chart i'm sorry in the monthly chart it is also in the weekly but in the monthly chart and it's above that 85.65 level it made a high today of uh, 88 84 that's a, yeah three points i i'd say that's not necessarily an exact uh, left side, right side uh, match, but it has got the price time, which is very important. So what, what we're looking at here is crude oil looking at on a monthly basis says, you know what, crude oil could keep going higher. If you're looking at the DBA, which is the DB um, of Agriculture Fund at 20.11, we've been long since uh, um, 30.77, I believe, and now it's at 20.11. It has hit the 20. Uh, the 20.30s. I'm looking at this and saying somehow, some way, these commodities are holding up, and that should go towards this whole inflationary aspect. So you can't ignore that. Now, I did say that I would do this, and I'm going to do that right now. Just too many questions coming in. So Amazon, A for Amazon. Amazon is trading down just sixty uh, two thousand sixty six cents right now at two seven eight nine. See this little cluster formation at the bottom here. Wow, that has to change. That has to quickly see a move up into the 2900. Actually, it needs to get to 3000. Um, and it needs to do that by for a week from today. It needs to be up in the 2950s and higher. It just must not take out the low of uh, Monday, which was at 2707. But this is a sell mode daily, sell mode weekly. I really have to say, monthly chart, I've got two days to go. I don't want to talk about it until we get there on the 4 o'clock uh, on, on Monday. But it is looking like I might have to call this an Amazon sell signal in the monthly. One of the few big, big, big stocks that gives a monthly signal like that. Apple. Apple is trading up six at uh, 165.66. I, I save the day here. This is a gray leg B because the MACD is still weak. Stochastic's only at 24%. Nine is still way under the 14. And the, and that's uh, I've got a sell mode in the in the daily chart, a sell signal in the weekly chart, but not a sell mode yet. I have to wait for the close. Um, but it's hinting that there might be some problems here going into next week if it can't. If, if Apple can't get to 168, maybe touch 170 within the next five trading days. Uh, that, that's going to be a problem. And the monthly chart, like G slash C. Let's go on. We've got, if I can ever remember them, Googie, Goog. Uh, Google is trading at, um, up 10 at 2592. What a move from 30, 37 round number high on the 19th of November uh, down to yesterday's low, on the Monday's low under 2500, 2492. And all it can do is bounce to 2592. This is a sell mode daily, sell mode weekly. And the monthly chart I, I could very well turn into a, a sell signal, but I have to wait for two days to see. So here we are, Amazon, Netflix. Netflix is just absolutely decimated. It, it made a 700.99. Why did it miss the round number 701? I don't know. On the week of the 19th of November, plunges down to um, Friday's in the 350s, here it is 377. It hasn't even been able to have one penny above the gap high of um, the 21st, which was at three at 409.15. That's the level. It has to just touch that once and then close above 400 to say, ah, I'm going to try to touch the 417 level of the nine period moving average. Hasn't been able to do that. So here I am going through these. Uh, so yeah, the question came in. CVX, could you go through some of these oils? CVX made a peak D. And that's really what I'm talking about, why I'm thinking that crude oil could pull back. And not a big deal because you've still got this whole thing with Russia going on. But it had a, a leg D. Today's a peak D with a high yesterday of 137. Well, now, isn't that interesting? 137 point what? Zero, 
zero, a round number high. Uh, not an all-time high, but a round number high. Amazing. And now it's pulling back a little bit. So if it, that's the resistance. If it goes, if it closes above 137, that's a big deal. That's very important. But it's a leg D. It's now peak D possibly in the daily a leg D in the weekly, and a leg D in the monthly. This is Chevron. I'm amazed to do this on a monthly basis to show something very interesting. I had questions. Can you just show us some of the... I'll, I'll do that tomorrow in my, my webinar for subscribers. My, not my webinar. In my video for subscribers in my weekly a Saturday or Sunday. It'll be a Saturday overview. And this one is going to be going into great detail. I'll talk about different things. I'll even talk about... <laughs> the uh, broker broker dealer index and the broker stock that we started to have a position in because I really like the stock but I needed to have a tight stop because this is just such a such a such a, a crazy period. The CVX is in leg D in the monthly chart. Yes it is an all time high. Isn't that incredible? I'll be back in a moment. Basil Chap and Tiger Denishes our dials that went to Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Oh, folks, we're back. So, look, we did another peak D right there in the one minute charts, pulling back it's down nine at 4308. And look at that 200 period moving average. It became a repellent again. He so let's go on. So uh, questions came in about uh, uh, CVX. So CVX uh, did well. I made that peak D. If the, if it doesn't make a new high today, made the round number high. Exxon 
is also uh, doing the same thing, pulling back just a fraction. It's down four cents to seventy-five oh eight. Is this a peak F or is this a recycle? I, I, well, I'm for now because the MACD is so strong. I'm just giving it a con. I'm continuing the alphabet A, B, C, D, E, F. We could even go to G and then I have to put G slash C. But in the meantime, it's inner leg C in the weekly chart still very positive. That's why I think crude oil, the whole idea of this crude oil as a longer term position for 2022, so far I think that has credence. Uh, the other thing we're looking at here is, um, so the natural gas did move up sharply. Um, I, I, we missed it. I tried to get in this morning for subscribers. Uh, because it did so well yesterday, but it just, in fact, from the time I was typing that I wanted to get in, and I had, a, if I, ironically enough, I had two people email me saying, what about natural gas? And it was just as I was about to send out my, my newsletter, uh, but, you know, a gap is a gap. I don't, sometimes I'm following a gap. I don't mind getting the gap. Sometimes I'm not interested. This is one of those cases where it would have been just too, too big, and natural gas has such a, a whippiness to it that you could get in perfectly, have a fantastic gain. I put in raise your stops all the time. And then by the end of the day, it could be red. It just does that. It's just one of those vehicles that's a little difficult to, to trade. Uh, I, I'd say some people I'm sure do very well with it. But I, I just found I haven't we haven't traded it very often. But it is something that I keep in mind. And uh, I, what I want you to do now is I had a question, should I do it now or should it just view all? Maybe I'll just do that for the moment. Uh, let me move this now to the left. Oh, no. There it is. Okay. So I, I, I said this is Technical Friday and we'll do more of the technical stuff, but I am going to do for my webinar. To, I keep saying webinar. It's not. It is a video tomorrow, my overview video, because it is uh, it is taped. It isn't live. My webinars I do live. Um, all right, let me do this. So there are a bunch of stocks. Let me just go all over the show. Bear with me, because this is giving you a picture of what's going on in the market. STZ, fantastic company, Constellation Brands. Uh, I discuss this as one of the great companies that just got their product mix and their sales perfect for years, for decades. They just, from 2010, you can go back, back. All, all you've got is from the time uh, in June of 2010, when the nine period on the monthly basis crossed positive, <laughs> I, I just, it's embarrassing to say this, um, at around about $17, not once did the, did the nine period moving average cross negative until it had gotten to 236.62, SDZ is the symbol, back in April of 2018. And then you had to still wait until the big red candle of December of 2018, where it crossed negative at 156, had a bounce, and it made the dreaded H, and then plummeted all the way to the March 2020 low of 104.28. Constellation Brands. And what I had said is, when I found out that they had gotten into the um, cannabis area, I said, uh-oh, a learning, uh, learning experience coming up. They've done everything right, but when they get this right, this will be the company as the core. It used to be, what was that British company that we used to look at? I think it was taken over. Um, but now I think it is Constellation Brand in just sales. That's all I'm talking about of the cannabis uh, area. Spirits, alcohol, and cannabis. I mean, what a mix, huh? So now we're looking at a leg E red candle at an all-time high of peak E in the travel wave at 258.00, just like we saw a moment ago in whatever it was that we were looking at for the zero zero all-time high. Um, and now what we're looking at is it goes from 258 down to today's low of 231. 20 points, not a big deal, 10 10 percentage. But that's a peak D in the weekly chart. So you've got a sell mode in the monthly, a sell signal so far in the weekly, nothing in the monthly, and a monthly chart is still in a really strong a leg E. We'll see if it's going to become a peak E. So when I put them to, when I'm putting monthly charts of all disparate um, sectors, that's where I start to get a little concerned, saying, Ugh. If everyone starts to, on the way up, we had consolidations where you had buyers come in on the rotation through the weekly sectors, 
and then it would reverse back again when they were done, getting ready for the big move up. Maybe we are starting to see something like this on the downside. I, I hope not. So here we have to go to the semiconductor index. The SMHs, um, oh my, trading down again today, five points at 251, made an all-time high of 318 point, no, 300 and, 300 and, Oh, yeah, it was. 318.82 uh, on the 22nd of November. Comes back. Does the double top retest at 318.69? Unbelievable. Just pennies away from that previous high. Turns around. Cup formation. Upside down. Dreaded H. Bam. Goes right through the 200 period moving average. And here's another sector. I think this is telling us it's a big deal that the semiconductor index is turning down. And in the monthly chart, that red candle in an F slash C just says, I haven't got a signal yet, but this is the first time it's touched the um, 14 period, the black 14 period moving average since the March lows of 2020. I mean, this is serious stuff. Sell mode daily, sell mode weekly, nothing yet in the monthly chart. And I, if I, go, I can go through, uh, someone said, could you go through a couple? Yes. Advanced micro devices. Decimated, 164 down to 101, 60% decline, uh, about that. Uh, and the monthly chart looks horrible. To sell mode daily, sell mode weekly. I'm real close to a sell signal in the uh, monthly chart. Uh, question about NVIDIA. NVIDIA uh, NVIDIA is trading at 216, down three at 216. Um, it goes from 346.47 with a round number low that, that day. Uh, on the 22nd of November of 319, and now it's at 208. I would say 346 to 208. This is not one of the best companies in the world uh, anymore. It's having a problem, a big problem. Sell mode daily, sell mode weekly. Whoa, so much. I, I, by, by Tuesday's close, I might have to call this a monthly sell signal. That just says you've got to be careful because that's going to impact the QQQs. I mean, look. Uh, MU, a number of people say, could you please look at MU? A new low today, um, it's down leg C at 76.57, uh, down 2. It was at 98.45, today's at 75. I would say 23 points on a $98 stock is a pretty serious blow. And that weekly chart, um, that's something that you can't sneeze. And the monthly chart says, uh-oh, and Marvell, one of the great companies, just did everything right for so long made a high of 93.85 the 8th of, of December, and right now is trading at 64. I'd say 93 to 64. Pretty serious decline. Sell mode daily, sell mode weekly. Nothing yet in the monthly chart, but what a red candle. So um, we're coming back a little bit down to 152, 142 in the Dow, but I'm going to say uh, We'll be back about this strength. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. 
Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. To Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi folks, we're back and I want you to show this, Sean. I'll spend a lot more time tomorrow and when I do my, this is a very special overview. It's going to be a really closer to a webinar than, than an overview. I've got questions coming in and I'll put them into the, into the potpourri of things that we're looking at. But here we are with, look, on the right here in the corner on this black chart with the black background chart, I've got the HDX, the Philadelphia Housing Index. Now the rule of thumb that I have is that you can make a dreaded H, a lowercase h, if it holds the left side low and it starts to rally, there's a chance that if it closes above the arch, first arch high, the dreaded H pattern, lowercase h, it could make a very big M formation by going towards the previous high and then failing. But if it takes out the left side low, you've got to at least be aware that in this kind of analysis, you could see a one to one to the downside and it's trading at 438. I, I don't like to do one to one to the uh, downside until it actually starts to show it's breaking the base. But if we start to trade in the Philadelphia Housing Index, HGX, under four, it's at 438. Let's just talk about two weeks time, maybe three weeks time, could be um, Tuesday. But let's just say it starts to hit 418. That says now you've got to be careful for the one-to-one -one in the H pattern where it reverses to make a full uh, um, circle to the downside. And that takes you right back to the uh, that cluster formation right there back in February of 2021 between, uh, uh, would that be, with a low of four, uh, four of 397. So 400 to 397. I don't want to see that. I just don't want to see that because that says oh, the housing sector and we'll look at some of those stocks uh, tomorrow. But look at the um, nine period moving average holding here in the wood iShares Global Timber and Forestry EDF. It's just come straight down, but it's held. It made the arch formation, made a second one, and now it's pulling back. It's down at 86.21, down 49 cents. This is something to keep, to heed, because if it starts to trade under the nine period, let me just make sure I'm talking about the right thing. Format, uh, input. Oh, that's the 50. I knew that it was something different. And look, it looks so different to everything else. The 50 period moving average. It hasn't gone under the 50 period moving average since it broke above back in the week of the 10th. This is a weekly chart. The week of the, oh my, the 10th of July of 2020, it's just been on a tear. The wood, I, I am, W O D, there's the ETF, wood, the iShares Global, iShares Timber and Forestry ETF. So this is a big deal. If it starts to take out this key support level, let alone the uh, 50 period moving average, but if it takes out 80, 83 as support, and it's at 86.21 right now, that's going to be a big deal. 
Now, look at the yields. 30-year um, has broken out above the left side high, but it hasn't really held uh, held the break out, but it has held within the context of a very narrow range at 2.093, 20.93. That's the TYX. The TNX, the brown one, this is the 10-year yield at 1.787, 17.87, uh, has broken out, but it has a lower high this week. But look at the closeness of the five-year at 16.28, 1.628. Why would people want to choose a 10 when you can get a 5? Why would you want to choose a 30 where it's just a little bit above for the risk uh, at 2.0 rather than 1.7 for the 10? Well, you don't always have the choices. It depends on what you're getting, right? The 30 years for the big long-term mortgages, etc. But 10 years based, I mean, more on the uh, home loan, uh, no, sorry, automobile uh, loans and things like that. So this is a big deal, watching this closely. Look at the way the five years is just spiraled. I should have typed it in from the low of point. Ay, ay, ay. The week of, can I actually get that? Yep, I can. The week of the 31st of July of 2020, the yield goes down, uh, August the 7th. The yield goes down in the VX, the five year to 1.92. That's 0.192. And now it's trading at 1.6. I would say that that's a big deal. So I'm just showing this because I want you to sh tell you in the work that I'm doing for tomorrow's uh, webinar, I keep saying webinar, for tomorrow's video overview, like a webinar because it would be so detailed, but it isn't a webinar because it isn't done live. It'll be taped. Um, I, I'm just saying this is such an important period, and today every rally has failed. Every failure has rallied. It's just stuck in this range. It's like it's like glue uh, with the midpoint pattern. Uh, let me just go back here. Look, look at that nice move in the E mini suddenly, but it's not a nice move when it's still down um, three after being all over the show. Okay, what I am looking at here is so Morgan Stanley. This is like a, this is like a, um, a top that is in distribution, and it does look like the high that was. Remember, I talk about this so many times for the last many months. Look at this: 105.95 was the high the week of the first of October. It pulls back under 95, and then rallies in a cup formation and goes back to the high of three weeks ago of what 106.47. 106.47 is <coughs> less than a dollar fifty away from that previous high, and like all the patterns, it double tops, and then when it starts to trade under the cup low, in this case, if Morgan Stanley starts to trade for a week, it was a weekly basis, under 93.88, let's call it 93, it's at 99 right now. This is just six points high. That's a big deal. That's going to be very negative. That's why this is so important. And yeah, I could do one of the traditional, if you want. I could say I could make it a little bit look a little bit like um, an expanding top. So it's really important that any kickoff to the upside on Wednesday or Thursday of next week, as we start February, you have to have sustainability. You just got to get it rallying and holding the rally. All right. So uh, what I'm going to say, and, and Ruby, congratulations on your great trading. Enjoy your nap. She's been out I mean, all, all, all night, I think. Amazing. Um, all right. So now what we're looking at is a uh, question came in. Oh, what about China? Oh, very good question. What about China? All I can say is nothing's changed as far as I'm concerned. China is not where I want to be. Not now. Right now, there will be a chance in 2022 with China as a really good rally. But right now, it's just it's good. it's on it's on leave for the next what week or so. We're coming up next week. It's, it's it's the new year. They celebrate for about a week. So just watch it. It's down uh, right now. The FXI, that's the big cap or large cap, they call it ETF, down 35.80. It's down 51 cents. Uh, coming back in this Eiffel Tower straight up, straight down pattern. It just doesn't look very good. The monthly chart even looks it's in a sell mode in the monthly. There are so many stocks that we are worried about here. I don't know why you want to worry about 
China at this particular point. Let's try to get our own house in order. We'll see what happens in this coming week. It's going to be a very important week. Nice rally. Now we're up nine in the E-mini. Whew. Let's see how we can deal with this 200 period moving average. The day is young. We're only not even an hour and a half into the session. We've been all over the show. Dow Futures down 360, then they were up, they down, now they're down 121. The e mini's up. Good. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Uh, a couple of things. We've got just a couple of minutes here. <coughs> there you go. Great program for the rest of the day. Um, so, uh, a question about Nike. Uh, someone's looking at Nike saying, where can it go? Yes, this, this H pattern right at the bottom here. It's starting to see a little bit of improvement in the MACD, the stochastic as well, but the price is not doing it now with the market trying to come back a little bit. Dow's only down 64. SMB is actually up 16. Um, this is not really responding all that well. So I, I would I would say if you're thinking about what you should take your profits or hold, why not at least for now split the two, take something off if you can. And then Monday, we'll see what we can deal with. Because if the market goes really strong today, a lot of people over the weekend are just going to say, you know what, I just have to get in. I have to start buying. And, and that way, if it does bounce, uh, you'll see where it goes to. But look, even now, it's not responding to the market. Uh, rally attempt is down 225. That's number one. Apartments, APTS. Um, Tim wanted to know, but, oops, typing in the wrong place. APTS. Um, yeah, this is an Eiffel Tower turnaround. Uh, you've taken your profits. I'd, I'd be getting out. It's got a peak E in the daily chart, APTS. Uh, 
uh, preferred apartment uh, community. There are and a peak D in the day, in the weekly, and a leg D in the monthly. You know what? You can always get back. This is not the time to be putting money in right now. Rather wait next week. Even if it rallies, we'll have a better chance to say what's going on. But it looks to me like it's pulling back. So make it as simple as you can, folks. The VIX index today, VIX is right now pulling back a little bit. It's only up 25 cents at 30.74. If by 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock this afternoon, you're looking at the VIX, which is suddenly down to 29, especially in the low 20. And the Dow's come back and it's now 55 points and the S&P is up, uh, uh, say, 18 to 22 points. We could have a pretty decent, I hope we have a decent close today. Uh, we need it. But if, in fact, the exact opposite happens and the VIX starts to run to the 3160 area or higher, and the market, the Dow's down 160, s is down uh, 18. That's See you Monday. Check out my open call. My big...